Hey guys, welcome to back today, bringing another video for our How to Outplay the Meta series, and today we'll be covering how to outplay the current meta here in Call of Duty Warzone with the Cold War integration of Season 5. We're about a week and a half, two weeks into Season 5, so we're going to go through how to outplay the current meta, which is really basically any Cold War weapon right now. It seems to be mainly the Krig and the K31 is what I'm seeing a lot. However, basically anything Cold War is really dominating the meta just due to the lack of recoil on the weapons. There is recoil, however, it's just basically straight vertical and very easy to pull down on. So you can basically just laser beam everybody. So how do you outplay that while trying to use tactical, maybe modern warfare weapons and outplay the easier Cold War weapons such as the Krig, K31, some of those other ones that just over overpower the modern warfare weapons so we're going to run through that today walk through a really good quad win that we had in a really good end game circle clutch that we had to get this win so go ahead and back out and we'll look at the final weapon here now just a uh, side note i'll play the meta current currently the meta is actually really cheating so if we if we put or we assume that the anti-cheat later this year is going to solve that problem this is this will be a helpful video for you so we'll have to revisit that later on and see how that works out but first off we're going to use the mg5 or the m91 so you see this running a monolithic suppressor i have used this this build before and again i i keep coming back to this one it's one of my favorite lmgs the monolithic suppressor is going to give us the sound suppression the damage at range the cons are going to be the ads speed and the aim walking steadiness and then I'm not using a blueprint for this one. I do like the base MG5 look. We're going to run the heavy barrel on this for the damage range, the bullet velocity, and the recoil control. Here on console, you definitely need the heavy barrel just because this thing still kicks like crazy if you're trying to engage at ranges like this. Uh, if you were to use the special forces barrel, it would save you mobility and everything like that, but your recoil is still just going to be a little bit too difficult to really pull down on. So run the heavy barrel, the cons there, the EDS speed, and the movement speed. We'll skip out on the laser. I'm going to run the Elcan or the Scout Combat Optic for the zoom level. The cons being the aim down sight speed. And then for the rear grip, we're going to run the rubberized grip tape. Again, I covered this in my last M91 video. I'll, I'll link that down below. This seems to really help out with the recoil, especially when you're engaging sustained fire at longer ranges, medium to longer ranges. Definitely helps out of it. So the cons here are just the aiming stability. And then the underbarrel attachment is going to be the Ranger foregrip for their recoil control and the aiming stability. And the cons being the aim down sight speed and the aim walking at movement speed. So we'll run that. And for the heretical, we're going to run the T-pose here. A nice, clean, precision sight picture. And then I'm also going to be running the Jack 12 or the AA-12 here with the Forge Tech Marauder. We'll run that for the sound suppression, damage range, tighter pellet spread. Longest barrel option there, the J3600, the 5 milliwatt, 32 round drum here, and the Merc foregrip. So this is going to be used for very, very close, close quarters combat. And then... We're going to go ahead and run that against the uh, current meta. I'll show you how to outplay the meta with this weapon. Surprisingly, a really good combo. We get a really crazy, intense win here in the end. So let's go ahead now, and we'll jump right into it using our MG5 and our Jock 12. Okay, so jumping right into it here, we dropped over at Prison, and basically I picked up this OTS-2. So again, another example of a Cold War weapon. You'll see the recoil on this basically straight up. This weapon is actually, I, I don't mind it. It's not a dominant dominant meta weapon however it is definitely a little bit easier to control it does a pretty good amount of damage but again the recoil is just straight vertical on this thing so it's actually pretty decent there's some good ground loot items they're able to get that rose skin pretty quickly now fast forward a little bit here we have our loadout and we are getting back up on top of prison where we landed and uh one way one way to i'll play the meta is don't let me fly so you can see there i our helicopter for some reason just landing decided to blow up and i killed both myself and rylan so coming back into this here we uh are now getting engaged by another team so i really put us at a big disadvantage because i killed myself and rylan there's another team now engaging dale and chase and so at this point uh i'm able to down somebody with the mg5 right there you can see that that's where the weapon really comes in play and I'm going to res uh, Rylan, who also came back. So try and get us both up here. I'm going to go get Dill also. Get us back in play. And uh, again, this team just rolled in after I killed two of us. So it was a really bad situation. We're going to be lucky to make it out of this alive. But you can see there, I get Dill up. And I think at this point, we're getting shot at from a sniper over there. So I'm going to ping him. Dill's going to go ahead. Smart guy jumps down. And then I'm going to try and get some fire on this guy. And I get jumped from behind by a, uh, a guy. It seems to be the, the meta lately also is throwing knives, which is just a little bit... Uh, it seems toxic to me. I'm really not a fan of it. It really kind of bugs me. But we ended up killing that team and rolling out of there. We rolled down here to this area, just judging about the circle. 
So we're gonna get on these roofs. We want high ground advantage here. So obviously, if you're not playing the hard, sweaty meta weapons, you wanna make sure you tactically position yourself. So we want high ground. So at this point, Dill's gonna engage somebody, pings in for me, and again, I'm able to just easily get shots on with the MG5. And now again, on the other roof, Chase and Brian get pushed. I'm able to down one, Shit. down another one. Now, unfortunately, there is an airstrike. Chase is down. Ryland's dead now. And I'm going to try and finish this guy. However, now I'm getting shot from Nakatomi. So this is a tough situation. We have a team across from us. And they're going to keep coming up this ladder. You'll see. And we're getting sniped up from Nakatomi. So it's hard to really put myself in a position where I can get a good angle to clean these guys up over there. And we can't get over to Chase. So you can see there's one down there. But we can't get over to him. Uh to get him because we're getting sniped at and again another guy i think just came up the ladder here so while dill's putting down some some fire on him i'm going to try and cross over and get to where i am you can see i'm almost dead right now i need to play it up and now a cluster comes in so this is bad i can't get chased so i need to drop down no way i'm going to get to him with that cluster there and i turn around and there's just this random guy who for some reason didn't hear me drop and you can see i'm actually using one of the blueprints for the jack 12 here because i didn't have everything unlocked yet uh, and it had that nice dismemberment effect on there. You can see some legs flying. So I'm able to kill that guy. Jack 12, really, really effective there. Now, fast forward, okay. Dill got okay. downed up on there. So I had to circle back around and get back on the roof. Somehow yeah. I'm able to revive oh. him. And again, we're, now we're going to circle back over here. We need to guard this ladder. It's the one way up to the roof. So we're going to put a claymore there. Put the uh, I put a mine there just for good measure. Now we're getting shot again from my left here. However, I do hear fire over here. These guys are shooting up towards Nakatomi. And again, right here, I wish I had Full Metal Jacket because I could just shoot through this HVAC system. Uh, luckily, I'm able to get some shots. I get that down, but I don't get the kill. So that guy ends up getting res. And we'll see him later. Now, this guy came up the ladder. And again, the Jack 12 there, he had a, and that's some sort of SMG there that would have just wrecked me. You can see the Krig 6, and it looks like a Bison or the, or the Bullfrog there. So it would have wrecked me. Good thing I had the Jack 12 or the AA-12 to take care of that. And again, we're not really trying to camp up here. It's just kind of the position we ended up in. Obviously, we want high ground uh, advantage here. Now, watch this circle rotation. So obviously, we're holding high ground. Dill got down up there, so we had to get up there. We're going to hold that ladder, and we're going to sit there. This is definitely the best position we can get. There's a guy, a roof over, you can see there, but they're going to be pushed in with yep. the circle. So they need yep, to move. Yep. I'm going to get Dill up, and at this point, we need to get off this roof, but we can wait a little bit. We both have gas masks also. Every other team pretty much needs to push into us. Now, I just saw someone go on the right side of that building, so I know he's going to circle back around, so I need to keep an eye on that. And you'll see I'm trying to look because there's also guys below us somewhere. Here's this one guy. I'm able to get shots on him. Easy break with the MG5. The the and now I'm just going to try and parachute down and get a better angle on him while Dill does the same and takes cover on the car. So Dill's able to get a couple guys there. And now it's 2v1 at this point. So it's just that one guy that I had broken over here. So he's the one guy. Now the circle is going to shift back. So at this point, this is a good play because we have gas masks. So basically... I'm going to jump in the car. Got this guy's on that roof. I kind of leave Dill high and dry there, which uh, <laughs> I, I wasn't really thinking too much. I, I wasn't sure where he was going. I was hoping he would get in the car, but uh, Dill can take care of himself. So I'm going to get, again, I want high ground just because I don't know what's going to happen here. Um, if Dill runs into trouble, I need to make sure I have some sort of positioning on this guy. So he was across on this roof. Not sure where he is now. And I'm just going to listen. I can hear him running now below me at this point. So... There he is. You can see him briefly as I throw that stun. Drop down and Dell and I both close in on this guy. And uh, we get the kill. So you can see he was running a Creek 6 and a K31. Rose skin. Very hard to see in any situation. So that's really, like I said, the, basically the, the meta currently is Creek 6, K31, uh, Bullfrog. Also, I'm seeing a lot of that. But this is how you can really outplay that meta. We played that final circle really, really well. We were down two players. And, uh, you know, Dell and I, we were able to hold that roof. And we were able to kill a few people and rotate through the circle correctly. Um, at that point, when we have the gas mask, we can put the gas a little bit. We want to put ourselves in a position where the enemies are coming towards us. Because typically, we're not using those meta weapons. So we're going to lose a lot of one-on-one -on -one gunfights. Um, unless we have the positioning and can get shots on first. So it's definitely difficult, but can really be done. I'll play the better. The MG5 and the M91 is a really underrated weapon. I would highly recommend playing with it. But again, it's mainly for your medium to long-range support. You may want something like an SMG for closer quarters instead of a shotgun, because that shotgun's really for close, close quarters engagements within 10 meters is very effective. But let me know down below what you guys think, how to outplay the meta here. I believe this is part three or four of this series. Let me know down below what weapons you like to use to outplay the current meta. 
at this point in time. Let me know down below. Till next time, this is Buckner Gaming. Yeah, I threw out. It right down on his side.